What's up everybody? My name is Ryan Krause and you're watching the Crucible Crow Torch YouTube channel. Today I'm just going to go over how the bumper came out and then just give a project update in general on the slant nose. So the last video, I did a video on glassing the front bumper using the mold that I made. Um, it actually turned out pretty good. I'll show you what it looks like. So here it is down here. Um, it came out pretty decent. Uh, some of the gel coat peeled back a little bit, but not a huge deal. Cause again, this is just a plug for the final product, which will be a bigger mold. So not a big deal, just needed the rough shape. So anyway, um, that came out okay. In fact, I have a time-lapse of that, which I should have put before this if I didn't, uh, sorry. Um, anyway, it's sitting here. It's waiting for me to finish up the front end and be ready to be fitted up, which is pretty much now, actually. What I've done since the last time I've posted here, um, I've lubered both front fenders. Um, they're hand hammered. They were kind of a pain. They're a little rough. I really need to go through and finish them out and clean up some edges, but that'll happen here in a little bit. Um, so I lubered both sides of the front fenders. As you can see here, both sides are done. Um, I also welded in the fuel door, which is actually the factory 996 fuel bucket, I guess you could say. Um, I don't have this bolted in quite yet, but this is how it's going to sit. So it has a factory look. Um, and I've also welded the fenders to the car. And by when I welded the car, I mean, I welded the fenders I made to the original fender edges um, so it fits well um, and it actually bolts to the factory bolting points on the car. Um, so both fenders are, are done in that respect. Um, I have not done the bottom here yet. I'm going to be capping this off, cutting off the rest of that fender and then rolling it into the rocker. Here's the other side of the show that is also welded in the same fashion. And I also need to finish making this flange up here. It's still flat sheet steel. Um, and again, on the bottom down here, I have not capped it off. I'm currently working on making the rocker pieces. Um, but yeah, so the front end of the car is pretty close to done actually, metal wise. And the rear end back here, this quarter panel is pretty well sorted out. Um, I have the tub made and everything and click coat up and this needs welded in and I need to make the interior duct work, which I have not done yet. I just need to model it and print molds and everything. So that's gonna be an adventure. Um, over on this side, I also made the interior wheel well, which um, basically is a tub. And I actually made that on a video for Eastwood. So you can find it out on their page. They did a video showing my step-by-step -step and featuring their TIG 200, which I have sitting over here now, um, which I actually love this machine so far. Uh, it is very basic and there's no pulse or anything but for its price point, it is a very robust machine. It does AC, DC, and is a high frequency start. Um, I have the torch off right now because I have the other welder I have here, but I do really like this machine. Also since then, Silver Lake so graciously sent over some ti titanium, you heard that right, titanium license plate screws, along with titanium studs to convert the lug bolts to studs on the car. Um, these are in fact titanium. Um, I am very impressed, impressed with the quality of this product along with the quality of the packaging. I actually really like the packaging. It even has little checkers on the back, super classy. So those will be going on the car when we're ready to put them on. I've also since had, we've, we've had a week here where we cleaned up the shop, um, both the main shop and over here. I'm not fully done. I have some stuff to put away still. 
but the fab area is super clean now and reorganized. Um, the area over here, you can actually see the floor in all spots. The corners aren't full of junk anymore. Um, I even made this little, made it's not even that much to make, but I made a little bar here with a chop saw set up so I can actually cut piping from our stock here without having to lug it over to the corner and do it on the floor, which is, you know, my knees hate me for that. Um, I have a home for the welders over here now. The other one's out because I'm using it currently. And I went through, um, I still need to do a couple more things. I want to polish the uh, English wheel anvils because, you know, let's keep up tool maintenance here. Um, hung my Dagger Tools banner, which I meant to hang for a while. Um, shout out Dagger Tools. Also, we have our Eastwood banner up now, which I think was up earlier actually, but eh, it's, it's up now, I guess. Um, tables are cleared off, still got an organized sheet metal underneath. Um, also, um, trusty Cook sent over some sick dead blow hammers and mallets. I don't have any here actually. They're over here. Um, here's some of them anyway. I am thoroughly impressed with these. They are super solid, especially these ball peens. Um, they're like hot cast or whatever that means. I don't know much about plastics, so whatever that means, they're sweet though. They definitely are very robust. I haven't gotten to use the bossing ones they sent yet, um, but they also are dead blow. So that means there's sand inside of them. So they got some extra oomph to them, which I don't have any dead blow that cheap. So I'm actually super excited for that. But yeah, the shop's been like a little reorganized. Um, and over here, customer projects I've been working on lately. So the slant nose itself, I haven't gotten to work on too much in the past week and a half, and probably won't until later this month, honestly. Um, we have a lot of customer work to catch up on and the holidays and everything else got us a little behind. So, you know, normal stuff got a lot to do. I also turned one of these back storage rooms into partially my office because I needed a space for all my 3D printing hardware and computer for CAD work and everything else. Um, I need to upgrade my computer. This thing is terrible for CAD, it is so slow. And my rig at home, I don't want to bring in because I want it at home. So yeah, um, actually currently right now, I am 3D printing it's in she failed or not. 3D printing um, bead roller dies. I modeled a tipping die to see if it would work. I saw online people were doing it, figured, eh, I'll try it myself. Um, but anyway, so we have an Ender 6 uh, 3D printer, but I actually have an Ender 3S1 on its way that'll live here. Uh, I'll be doing a review on that because I am actually really stoked on that printer. Um, along with we have like our 3D scanner back here, the cheaper laser, I have a more powerful laser on its way also, which I'm excited for to live here and I have some cool projects coming up with that that I can't wait to show you guys. Um, that laser is actually capable of cutting wood and other materials along with marking um, stainless steel. So that'd be a good addition to the shop. But yeah, and all the coolest thing back here, so this is a mess. I haven't even organized this or hung anything up yet or even, I don't even have power in the outlets yet, but Mountain Dew, I haven't even put batteries, but Mountain Dew actually sent me a clock because they saw one of my videos that had Mountain Dew in it and they liked it so much. They even followed me on TikTok, which is wild, but they sent me a clock and I am stoked on that clock. It is the coolest clock ever. I don't even care if it looks like it's made from who knows what. It's so cheap, but it is so cool. Anyway, back to the slant is over here. Currently um, for January, it's going to be one of those months where it's playing catch up for customer projects. Um, I have a couple jobs that need to be done sooner than later, so I'm gonna be on those more than the slant nose, but I will be back on this in the early mornings and also next month. Um, I will be putting out more content. Um, the, the other goal for the new year for me was to actually focus more on YouTube and a little less on the other medias like TikTok and Instagram. Uh, I'll still be doing stuff on there, but I wanna actually get a little more traction over here on YouTube and actually put more content out for you guys because it's a lot more time consuming than it is for TikTok. So keep an eye out for more stuff. I'm gonna try to post once a week, if not more often than that. Um, some of them will be more of this style where me just, I'm just updating what's going on in the shop. Um, I know that you guys like to see what I do in my daily life, not just slaying this stuff. So I'm gonna mix some of that stuff in for shop wise. Also, this is the other welder I mentioned earlier, the uh, Eastwood MP250i. This is the other welder they sent over that, um, for me to try out. I actually love this welder. It's a multi-process welder, meaning that it does MIG, TIG, and ARC. Um, the TIG does not do AC, but the MIG does, which I will probably never use. Um, 
but the MIG function in this is very good and the TIG function is pretty much identical to the TIG 200. It just does not have AC, but it has a high frequency start and it, you can either use the pedal or you can use the trigger on the torch, which I've been using the trigger on the torch. I'm impressed with this machine and I think you should try it out if you're looking for an entry level welder that does pretty much at all, um, aside from pulse and all those other fancy things that, you know, very expensive welders have. It is a great machine. But that's where we're at right now. Uh, thanks for swinging by and check it in and see what we've posted. Um, again, I apologize. It's been a very busy past couple months with trying to keep up with everything and also put content out. And yeah, it's just been a lot, but I'm gonna be refocusing more on YouTube this year. So keep an eye out for more content and you know, on YouTube and long as, if you don't follow us on TikTok or on Instagram, do that a while and um, I'll put the links in the description and also don't forget to follow or subscribe or like or whatever it is that people say you should do. Also, lastly, um, a little call to action also, drop in the comments what you wanna see for the new year from us. So if you wanna see more how-to videos, if you wanna see more just project updates on the slant nose itself, you wanna see more about what we do not just on the slant nose, if you wanna see whatever, product reviews, you name it, re recommendations, top fives, whatever it is, drop it in the comments, let me know so that I can work it into the schedule. So anyway, happy new year, everybody. Later.